जापान की टेक्नोलॉजी है फर्स्ट टाइम इन द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट टाइम इन इंडिया तो फर्स्ट टाइम इन द इन इंडिया दिस टेक्नोलॉजी इज कमिंग फ्रॉम जापान इट इज फ्रेंकली वन ऑफ अ काइंड सो इट्स इवन इन जापान इट्स वन ऑफ अ काइंड सो इट टेक्निकली इन द वर्ल्ड इट्स वन ऑफ अ काइंड वी विल इंट्रोड्यूस द डिटेल्स टू यू shortly when we start हाँ जी एक एक चीज है पोल्यूशन के अंदर देख नहीं सकते ठीक बट इस कैमरा बहुत दूर देख सकते हो कैमरा दूर देखने नहीं उसका लेंस है दे जापानी बहुत अच्छी लेंस बनाए हैं क्या एक किलोमीटर दो किलोमीटर पाँच किलोमीटर दस किलोमीटर लेंस बड़े बड़े होते हैं इतना बड़े लेंस होते हैं ठीक है बट दस किलो साफ साफ दिखाते हैं आप सोचो बॉर्डर पे आप माउंटेन के हिमालयन माउंटेन भी आप साफ साफ कौन टूट रहे आप देख सकते हैं दस किलोमीटर से तो हाँ जी हाँ जी बहुत एहसान से पकड़ जाएंगे इस उसका लेंस दूसरा लगा दो ऑल लेंस आर चेंजेबल वी कैन इंटरफेस विद टेन किलोमीटर लेंस ट्वेंटी किलोमीटर लेंस वट एवर स्पेसिफिकेशन ऑफ लेंस इज रिक्वायर्ड वी कैन मेक इट सो हाउ एवर फार यू नीड टू सी From the border, you can see. And the best part is, as you all know, camera that exists today is all night vision camera is in green color, and that is only made by four, technically five countries. That's Israel, America, Canada, Russia, and Japan. But There is no camera in the world that you can see in color at night. So imagine, as you're looking right now, I switched off all the lights. You can't see my face, but with this camera, you can see everything as it is in color. This is the only camera that has a defogging uh, mode, which allows you to see through the fog. With a very high accuracy, but please remember, you cannot see through pollution. Pollution is not fog. Aren't you? किधर भी क्या है नहीं है आप देख नहीं पा रहे पर इस कैमरे में आप साफ 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 कुछ देख सकते हैं उसका मतलब है जो तरीके है ना उस डिजास्टर्स यूज भी कर सकते हैं क्यों आपके कैमरा में नॉर्मल कैमरा 
कुछ नहीं दिखाएंगे सब ब्लैक बट अब डिजास्टर साइट को इसको लगा दो अब हेड ऑफिस कमांड पोस्ट से सब फीड जाएंगे रात पे कोई हाथ दिखा रहे थले आप देखेंगे ठीक है दो मामला है एक है क्या कैमरा एक है क्या लेंस लेंस के मैन्युफैक्चर बहुत है जापान बट ए मैन्युफैक्चर जापानीज मैन्युफैक्चर बहुत लंबे डिस्टेंस देख सकते हैं उसके बगैर जापान के बाद इतना लोग ऐसे लेंस बनाते नहीं ठीक है उस लेंस को फिटिंग करना है जो मेका लेना है आप ले लो फिक्र नहीं है असी भी उस लेंस भी प्रोवाइड करते हैं ठीक है अब असी लेंस बेचने वास्ते नहीं आए असी वो कैमरा बेचने वास्ते आए हैं बट असी सोल्यूशन प्रोवाइड करने आए सोल्यूशन कस्टमाइज सोल्यूशन फॉर योर रिक्वायरमेंट फॉर द एनवायरमेंट जो भी है डिफेंस है जो भी है पुलिस वास्ते है जो भी है बॉर्डर वास्ते है जो भी है पोर्ट वास्ते सी पोर्ट एयरपोर्ट सब बना सकते हैं कस्टमाइज सब कुछ कर सकते हैं इसका बेस है इस कलर रात पे रात पे कलर के देख सकते हैं ना लाइट विजन कलर देर इज नथिंग लाइक दिस इन दिस वर्ल्ड जगह दिस इज द फर्स्ट टाइम वे आर लॉन्चिंग हेयर इन इंडिया एंड आई थिंक वी शुड स्टार्ट नाउ for our protection for our safeguard 
for our law enforcement. Very recently, I will not be talking about the incidents or the bad things which are happening in India, but we all are aware that from 2000 onwards, December 2000, attack on parliament, a very recent thing which happened was petroleum ministry. Why? Why did the things got stolen? I think there is somewhere we are lacking. We are lacking in terms of equipment, in terms of technology. So for that, we have with us, I think you are the guys who are going to promote this. We are going to put it across on the newspapers. That come, this is how we can make in India come to, through Narula Japan and other companies which have come from Japan. And I want that you guys to give maximum coverage. It is not an individual company which is coming here to launch a product or to introduce their product. <coughs> but it is more about the security and the safety of our country. And our make in India come true. Dream come true. We have with us Mr. Tharvinder Singh, as we all are aware, that he is a delegate or a connecting delegation between India and Japan, the GM, General Secretary of Indian Chamber of Commerce, as well as the Vice President of Narula International, oh sorry, Narula Japan Limited. So, to talk more about his technologies, I think he is the right person. So, I will introduce him, I will introduce him and I will ask him to explain. Thank you very much. <coughs> I would like to start. Um, as I've already been given an introduction myself, so I feel no need to introduce myself. However, I'd like to start with a small presentation and a brief of what we'll be going through today. Uh, if everyone could look to the projector screen. What uh, we are planning to talk about today is, which was briefly mentioned, is the future vision of Indo-Japan. Second to that, uh, introduction of our company, what it actually does. Third, the night vision technology, which will be introduced by my colleague here, Mr. Urahami of Komomura. And we have Opticure and Plaster technology, which will be introduced by Mr. Hironaka. And we have third, the Gaina paint and writing sheet technology. Um, it's unfortunate the manufacturer, the president, was not able to visit here. So in his stead, our representative uh, from Narula, Japan, uh, Mr. Yastake Jiro, will be briefing about this product. Then following that, uh, we've created a little information site for the time being, so that uh, the data that you will need for your coverage uh, will be enclosed and uh, finally closing. <laughs> um, <clears throat> I must say that uh, I was very impressed by Narendra Modi's visit. We had a lot of opportunity to interact with him and uh, he made a very moving speech in Japan uh, with Mr. Osamu Suzuki with Mr. Suzuki and with Nikkei and with the Confederation of Industries in Tokyo, in the Imperial Hotel. And uh, I was quite surprised to say that the hall was designed for 800 people, but there was uh, applications of well over 1,200 persons, which was uh, over-expected. Uh, they had made arrangements to accommodate many people, but still it was overflowing. And at that uh, one hour seminar that was introduced by Narendra Modi, um, it created a very strong impact with the Japanese government, especially with JETRO, FIKI, CI, Japan, Confederation of Companies, everyone being there and present. So um, I'd like to stress that under this current climate, we have a very good relationship with Narendra Modi and with our current PM in Japan, Mr. Shinzo Abe. So therefore, we do feel that we have a strong platform now between Japan and India. 
there's three stages that uh, we have identified that will change the face of this program. Stage one <coughs> will be 100% imported made in Japan products for distribution in India. And this is something that with very high technology, maybe you could say it's even a niche, but it's a requirement, it's a necessity. And by these products being distributed in India, it will create the awareness, it will create the desire, it will create the need. And with that need, we can then take it to stage two. The stage two being a knockdown assembly, assembled in India. So we haven't got to the full Make in India program as yet. But however, having Indian and key Japanese components integrated in the factory. So this will allow um, Indian companies to come on the stage and foster relationships with Japanese and uh, create something that is going to be the future of Make in India. And the third stage is obviously the Make in India. A joint venture, technological transfer, a partnership manufacturing in India with high technology. So if we do not go through these stages, what happens is in Japan, it's very difficult to bring their confidence into India. And this fact is very important and I'd like to demonstrate from now on. Just a little brief of our company, established in 1918. Our president, Mr. Sohinder Singh, he's a Dr. Sohinder Singh. We have a few lines of business. We have an import-export of protection products, domestic distribution in Japan, supplying to over 3,000 stores. We have an event division. In fact, uh, ITPO's PR agency is being handled by Nauru Japan for the last two years. Then we have obviously Indo-Japan relationships. The products that we are introducing today are disaster management, security, surveillances, and defense products. The first product we have is a night vision color camera, which has, which most of you have. Uh, come to know, in complete darkness, we can see in full color with high resolution. Second, we have gyna paint and writing sheet, and then followed by optical medical band-aid using intense LED light. Within 10 seconds, instant ready plastic bandage is created, so you don't need to use the standardized Gibbs method of using water and it takes 30, to 30 minutes to 60 minutes for it to dry before you can even plaster. So it can be, in fact, used for disaster and rescue missions now. <clears throat> this is a brief of the camera that you will be seeing shortly. This is a night vision camera. The company is Komamura. It's established in 1933. And 1958, the first CID camera made in Japan for the police was made by them. I'll just skip this part because we'll go in that, we'll have uh, the manufacturing. But basically, as mentioned, military and rescue, law enforcement, Coast Guard, investigation, detection, documentary, security and surveillance, and obviously natural disasters, calamities, these are the kind of cameras that you would see nowadays that exist. You have a camera, you have an existing lens part that's connected between the lens and you get uh, this uh, third generation, second generation green image intensifying. And this is the camera. <clears throat> okay. So, uh, can I... This is a part, and then the second part is an optic cure and plaster. This we have the plaster here, followed with this mighty LED, which is a light emitting diode. It's flat, it's bulletproof, and using this LED, we can immediately create.
create this plaster. Then here we have this Gaina paint and shell sheet. This paint, this Gaina is used for the rockets uh, for, that is used by Japan Space Agencies, which withstand 2,000 degrees Celsius on regular metals. Then a shell sheet, which is used for marketing, and a writing sheet, which we will demonstrate to you. Can I start uh, by introducing Mr. Urakami of Komomoro Shokai? Uh, he will start with his demonstration. I will do the translation. Good morning, everyone. I am uh, Urakami from Komomura Shoka. Uh, it is a great honor for us to be called for this event uh, from Naruga, Japan, and uh, we really appreciate it. Today we would like to discuss two main points. We would like to first of all <coughs> we would like to first of all uh, talk about Falcon Eye and how it came about. Second part, we have we have arranged demonstration videos which we would like to we would like you to see in detail. We've arranged the formats of the video in a very easy to understand manner that it would be a pleasure for you when you return back in your office to take to intake the data. And at the same time, all the videos that you will be seeing now is also enclosed within our home page, which you can take anytime, download anytime. We do have an English page, so you are more than welcome to download from there. So let me start with a brief introduction of the R&D. Komomoro Shokai was started in 1933 in Kyoto. The re main reason of starting in Kyoto is because it was the pinnacle peak of the film industry and uh, we were doing a lot of uh, photography. In 1958, uh, we designed and delivered the CID used uh, for the police across. In 1960s, we delivered to the Mil uh, Ministry of Defense Japan. Which are very big professional cameras. So up to the year 2013, we were dealing and distributing these kinds of products, as you see on the screen. In the meanwhile, we were distributing products from Germany into Japan. And obviously, um, for high professional cameras uh, for the film industry were being delivered as well.
Thereafter, we decided to change the business model. 2012, we decided to take over, buy out a unit specializing in digital photography. As you probably know, because uh, nowadays everything is becoming digital, so we decided to take an active move. During that time, we were delivering night vision, color, green color uh, technology to the Ministry of Defense. As you can see, it is an image intensifier based camera, uh, changing the light into green. So we noticed uh, two big problems. First part, it wasn't able to recognize color. It only came out in green. The second part, this camera could only be used at night and not in daytime. <laughs> So due to very high and intense demand from the police and the MOD, we proceeded to build uh, for uh, this, so we proceeded to build into a new technology. That even still photo and video camera can be taken in high definition. And it the requirements were that the army or police needed something that is durable, it's very hard. And uh, in fact, this camera that is uh, sitting here is made out of aluminum, it's very durable. <laughs> As I was explained uh, briefly by Mr. Tom in this thing, uh, that this camera can be used for a variety of applications, for disasters, for rescue, for police, for security, for surveillance, and uh, the applications are limitless. The most important point for us, this is 100% made in Japan. As you probably know, those cameras that you are using there, the ones that uh, you are sitting with, is technically high definition, high quality, high technology, is all made in Japan. So this is uh, <coughs> to show you the contrast. This is taken in the studio. So what we've done is we'll be decreasing the light in the studio. At the same time, we've given an announcer script to read. And 
as we are we are releasing the light, we will show you how the lux, the aperture, the lux uh, in the room is being decreased through the instrument. Please have a look and enjoy. This is uh, uh, in the darkest conditions you can get in a close environment, which is unnatural. This is the LED light that we've created. It's a flat panel. We've just connected to a battery pack, and here is a band, uh, band aid plaster. It's a medical plaster. Look, initially it's very soft. Right? You can bend it, flex it, you can do anything with it. Right? Just give me 10 seconds now. This is a combination of two technologies. One is uh, a special material uh, which, uh, <coughs> which reacts optically and the LED. This is a splint. This is a splint. 
This was used in the earthquake and disaster that hit Japan, the 9-11. However, this rescue kit was not flourishing in Japan. And um, it didn't flourish there because of a very main reason is that uh, they didn't have a standardized LED light that is flat. So in this light, we are very glad to say now we can save lives that couldn't have been saved back then, because now we can create a uniformity light at one time. This LED light has been designed so it's thin and small and portable. So in fact, uh, places where they don't have water or you have big disasters, you could use this light and this plate simultaneously. With one LED light, we can safely say that we can save about 50 people approximately in a disaster. Obviously, it could be used in conjunction with this other technology of optic cure splint. However, the light itself is a technology and can be used by itself as a regular lighting, lighting device. Obviously, if you put it in a tent, immediately <coughs> you could uh, install it and use it. You can put it under a fallen building and you can see if anyone, any survivors under the debris. So therefore, uh, we are very confident that we can save many lives with our mighty LED and optic spin. So we would like to ensure that this technology uh, is carried forward to Narula, Japan and that uh, it is a good means for the public use, public safety for where it is required in India and uh, we look forward to that. So, our light is actually indestructible. You can fire bullets at it and it doesn't break. So we went ahead and made another application for a light as a barrier. We've uh, put protective shielding around it and we've encased the LED light. This is a shield. Even though it has been shot, the light will keep on coming out. Because behind it we put the shielding as well. We can disarm 
someone by the flash stroke. Basically, it has a blinding effect. Uh, we have co uh, calibrated it to the uh, resonance of the, uh, the brain and eyes to disarm a person. We don't attack, we disarm. This is our philosophy. We don't, uh, for example, we don't uh, uh, strike someone with this arm, without striking. This is our philosophy. Therefore, all the while maintaining our concept of saving lives, we don't kill lives. Thank you very much. It is currently used by the Japan Aeronautical Division, JAXA. The left side is the camera being used by the national authorities on rescue uh, national authorities of Japan and on all disaster, all booking activities. Your home video, your home camera, your professional camera will be reflected in home video, it's on the left side. It's a bad area, you cannot see it so clearly, but we might have a volcanic activity now. Right now it is an open situation and uh, obviously you have uh, nominated uh, defense contractors uh, that are very well, well versed in this uh, procedures. So uh, we're looking at a multitude of spectrum of uh, marketing and distribution in India and uh, therefore we would like your cooperation and your efforts of informing everyone about this product and getting the government excited that such a product exists and the benefits it has. Because if I'm not mistaken, uh, many files got stolen at, uh, was it uh, the petroleum ministry at night? And they had cameras there, but you couldn't see anything. So what's the point of having cameras? Why don't you install a light vision camera in color? You can see literally in pitch blackness. Literally in pitch blackness. Because there does not exist a pitch black scenario, except if you're in a cave. Because you're always going to have some ambient light. So in a room, there's going to be some light somewhere. And that light is enough light to amplify and show you in full color with our camera. That's all it means. 0 0.005 lux. That's nothing. Thank you, gentlemen, and enjoy your lunch. Thank you. Okay. This camera is, is a camera that is uh, in nearly pitch darkness. You can see in color. No camera in the world exists that you can see in darkness, in color, without light. Market uh, uh, but uh, uh, basically the market both sectors very segments uh, security surveillance defense rest, rescue border uh, rescue border and uh, airports seaports Borders means uh, between India and Pakistan, India and Kashmir. Any form of area in near total pitch darkness, you can see in color. The markets are limitless. Applications are vast. The lens will change. Five kilometers, you can see. Ten kilometers, you can see. Twenty kilometers, you can see. The man is on the mountain, you can see it there. In the night, you can see everything clearly.
आपका होम वीडियो कैमरा ऐसे आता नहीं इट्स ऑल इन डार्कनेस तो वो थोड़ा सा लाइट है उसका लाइट ज़्यादा एम्पलीफाई नहीं करता दिस लाइट थर्ड लाइट भी 0.05 लक्स के मतलब वन कैंडल स्टिक के लाइट 25 सेंटीमीटर्स आपसे दैट अमाउंट ऑफ लाइट इज इनफ टू सी द होल रूम इन कलर आपके कैमरा देख से देख नहीं पाए तो आईफोन सब स्मार्टफोन कुछ नहीं देखेंगे जो ब्लैक है ये सब का सब कुछ कलर पे देखेंगे एल सी डी नहीं दी गई क्या वजह रही है क्योंकि हाँ जी एक और एक और बात इसकी एल सी डी इसके अंदर है देर इज़ अवर एन इन साइड हाँ जी बट ऑबियसली इसके एक बड़ा वाला नहीं है क्यों बड़ा वाला क्यों नहीं है क्यों चलते हैं प्रोटेक्शन इज फॉर पैसिफ उसके फॉर हुएवर योर हुएवर योर डीलिंग विथ जो भी है सो दे कैन नॉट सी दैट यू हैविंग दिस कैमरा जो लेस फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन नेचर एंड नाइट आप बर्ड वॉचिंग जा रहे आप एनिमल्स देखने जा रहे हैं टाइगर देखने जा रहे हैं शेर देखने जा रहे हैं यू कैन सी इन फुल कलर एंड नाइट विदाउट डिस्टर्बिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्री बनाना है यू कैन यूज दिस फॉर डॉक्यूमेंट बैले शो जाके सब कुछ कलर पे रात पे यू कैन सी द ऑडियंस इन कलर एट नाइट विदाउट लाइट देर इज नथिंग लाइक दिस यू कैन सी द ऑडियंस रिएक्शन इन वाइल थिंकिंग डॉक्यूमेंट्री ऑन स्टेज अदरवाइज यू नीड लाइट एंड इफ यू पुट लाइट देन दे बिकम कॉन्शियस फिर उसके ट्रू इमोशंस नहीं आएंगे इसका मार्केट हाँ जी मार्केट तो अभी बताया था डिफेंस है सिक्योरिटी सर्वेलेंस तो पैन इंडिया के मार्केट तो वी एक्सपेक्ट एटलीस्ट फ्यू थाउजेंड्स ऑफ दिस कैमरा टू बी सोल्व एज आई मैंशन कैमरा थोड़ा सा महंगा है बट लाइक एनी गुड थिंग यू नो इट्स वॉट इज़ रिक्वायर्ड इट्स अ नेसेसिटी आज के लिए चाहिए ये चीज तकरीबन कितनी कॉस्ट होगी कम से कम जापान से ट्वेंटी लैक्स होता है इधर पहुंचने से ड्यूटीज जो भी सिस्टम है उससे बढ़ जाएंगे बट आइडिया है क्या ट्वेंटी लाख प्रोफेशनल वास्ते नेसेसिटी वास्ते इस कैमरा है सिक्योरिटी ओके ऑन हो गया आप बुकिंग और अच्छा वो आप परचेज हो आप जो जो भी उसका एक मिनट दिखाना भैया एक मिनट दिखाता हूँ शॉर्ट बना दूँ फिर ले ले ली फोटो ले लियो ले रहा हूँ आगे से दिखाना आगे